Buddha won't save you. Gandhi won't save you. All of these, you can go to their grace, but Jesus Christ is alive. And some of you, 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 you could do with getting to church on Sunday. You could do with standing up for our Christian morals. Because when you look at the world, now we've put God out of the picture. Now we've told our kids that we're all animals, that we've come from evolution and a bit of slime. Now we've given up our, our, our religion to other religions. What's happened to the UK? It's a mess. And that's why I'm telling you, you need to stand up for the, the, the country that we live in, the UK. It's a mess. And it's a Chris it is a mess, isn't it? And why is it a mess? And now today, we send our kids into classrooms and they're told they've come from monkeys. We tell them there's no purpose, there's no meaning. We tell them, okay, every other religion could be respected except for Christianity. We have lost our way, my friends, and the only way is to come back to the cross. The cross where the Son of God died there. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you believe that? Do you believe there's a God in heaven who cares about you? You've met him, have you, my friend? Someone said he's met, you've met him. What did you say? You've seen him in your dreams. Well, some people do say that, yeah. Some people do say that they've met the Lord, yeah. Well, I'm telling you, I've met the risen Lord as well. He's changed my life. A man who was full of hate, a man who had no hope, to a man now who's been forgiven and has eternal life. And I'm telling you, whatever situation you're in, I don't know what pain you're going through, I don't know what's going through your mind right now, but Jesus Christ is ready to meet you and change your life. We can all be a big man, we can all be a, a, you know, all confident when we're around our friends, but when we get on our own, when we're on that curb, maybe on a, a night out and the taxi's gone and we're all alone, we know there's an emptiness. We know there's a cry in the very depths of our being. Our soul is crying out for more. That's why people get plastered at the weekend because they're crying out for something more. They're crying out for hope. And I'm saying to you, you've got a God-shaped hole that only Jesus Christ can fill. And you need to turn to him today and he'll empty your grave. He'll give you eternal life and wash away all of your sins. How about this? You can have all of your sins forgiven. You can have a fresh start. You can have a mansion in the sky. You can have peace of God you can have eternal life. And how much will this cost you? It'll be absolutely free. It's all you have to do is come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know if you uh, like Easter eggs. Do you know why we have Easter eggs? Do you know what's so special about Easter eggs? It represents the tomb. And you know when you go to those places like mountains or hills and they do the egg rolling, my, my children do that, and they roll it down a hill. Do you know what that's all about? It's about the fact that the tombstone of the Lord Jesus Christ it rolled away and the tomb was empty. What goes through your mind when I tell you that? There was a man once who lived, who died on the cross and the tomb was empty. And that changes everything, doesn't it? Because if I go to any gravestone, they're going to be full of bodies, aren't they? Any grave you go in, there's going to be bodies there. And yet the Lord Jesus Christ, his tomb was empty. Why? Because he was special. Now you might be saying to me, Joe, what's the evidence for that? It's all very well you can say all of that. I'll tell you what the evidence is. What year were you born in? I was born in 1991. 1,991 years after who? Jesus. After Jesus, you're right. You're so right, my friend. AD in the year of our Lord, BC before Christ. If you doubt that Jesus was a real man, why do we measure our calendar after a man? Why is your birthday measured after a man who never even existed? You know he existed and you know that he did something special and he rose from the dead. Here's another thing. I hope this doesn't happen to you. I hope you live a long, long life. But imagine if you died tonight and then three days later came back from the dead. I'd listen very carefully to what you have to say. I'd be listening to everything you said because you are someone who can conquer the grave. And that is why we call ourselves Christians because we believe in a man who truly did conquer the grave. And we listen so carefully to him when he says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me.